Okay, next up is Step Up 3D, and while this film is visually enhancing and has made the best use of 3D maybe this year, and maybe of the decade, that's not, I mean, that of course being the exception of the Pixar films, uh, it's still the same old, same old ho-hum movie, you know, yay dance moves that I can just get on so you think you can dance or stumble on a good video on YouTube, whatever. You can find a guy just break dancing on a piece of cardboard with a boombox, it would be much better than some of the dance moves here. Now, it's not to say that they're not impressive, I mean, it obviously takes a lot of skill to do what some of these people are doing in this movie. Now, of course, I'm going to say right off, this isn't as atrocious as the second Step Up film, and here at least there's a driven effort to make it appealing. The, t the other two films really could have benefited from that. And I'll be quite honest with you, I wasn't bored here, but I'll, like, I'll admit, not every film is going to have the most captivating plot, but yet this film doesn't have, have that at all, and the characters are boring. The characters are the boring thing of this film, too. And the actors are not even remotely good. I mean, may, I may not have been bored through this film, that was mainly because of the dance sequences. In my opinion, the actors are downright crappy. I won't name them for their sakes. I'm sure you, most of you already know, though. And listening to some of the music in this film is like cleaning your ears with steel wool. It's just that painful. Now, well, like all that said, however, I can still understand completely why some many many people would like this film, especially girls. But much like the Twilight series, it appeals and sticks to those targeted, and it fulfills certain needs that really shouldn't be necessary at all. And it doesn't fulfill my needs because I don't really have any needs for this. And now here's the thing. Now I'm I'm reading this film from a relative standpoint like I do with everyone. One of the first things I've learned from Roger Ebert is that every film needs to be rated individually from the state of being relative to a genre. Now, the only time I throw that rule book out the window, of course, is when I'm rating the 10 best or worst of the year. It just doesn't matter after that. You're just ranking the movies and much of how you like them. But when I initially see a movie and rate it, it's all relative to genre. Now, this film won't appear on either of those lists. I'm going to say that right now, but it is really something that I, can, I wouldn't see again at all. I mean, it wasn't a complete waste of time like the other films, but I, and I didn't feel shortchanged here, but there is, there, there have been many better dance films than this, and really, I think a documentary about the type of dance that you portray, like hip-hop dancing and whatnot, and just the crazy things they do, would actually be far more captivating. Uh, I really don't know what was trying to be accomplished here as a film, and maybe that's the problem. I don't need something brilliant, I just need something entertaining, and while some stuff here is, it's merely enhanced by its well-together use of 3D. It's not like I've never seen these type of dance moves before. Step Up 3D is, like I said, isn't a complete waste of time, but I still can't recommend it. I give it two stars out of five.